Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play along at Mudra Craft Stamps. And today I'll be using the beautiful balloons and the brushed alpha stamps. I'm getting my balloons sorted out first of all, taking them all out of the pack, as I'll be covering the entire background of my watercolour card base with a variety of different balloons. I'm inking them up with Distress Inks and using my Misty as often with Distress Inks you don't get a great impression the first time so it's awesome to be able to ink it up again and stamp it a couple of times. Cleaning off each time with a little stamp chamois and then organising my next balloon and positioning it there and then choosing my Distress Ink colour and inking up again. So as I continue along, filling my complete background with various sizes of balloons, you'll notice me thinking about where I position them. I don't want the tail of each balloon to be facing down and in exactly the same position as the others, so I move them around and sort of try to alternate uh, the different angles that they're sitting at, just for a bit of interest on my card front.
Now that my card front is completely covered with the Distress Inked Balloons, I've got myself some clean water and a brush and I'm dragging the colour out from each balloon because I wanted this to be quite a watercoloured look on the front and so the Distress Inks of course will activate with water and you can drag the colour out and get that messy watercoloured look. Now it did work better for some colours than it did for others as you'll see there that particular colour is not releasing much of its ink at all so I did have to come up with a second sort of plan of action to get that more watercoloured inky look that I was hoping to achieve. So you will see me grab out my Distress Ink colours and stamp them down on my craft mat soon and pick up some more of the colour and add it to the card just so I can get that really inky, watercoloured, mixed media look that I was going for today. It's at this stage in the proceedings that I get out my tin of Distress Inks and I grab out the colours that I've used on my card and I think that first one is Worn Lipstick because it didn't spread very well at all so I'm just adding a little bit extra to it to really amp up the colour that I'm getting. So as part of the messy watercolour look that I'm going for today, I definitely had to add some paint splatters because it just wouldn't be a complete card without some beautiful coordinating paint splatters. So I've used the Distress Inks again to mix up some colours there and just splatter it on from my, my brush. And I've got out my Kuretake Gansai Tanbi watercolour set mixed up the white with some water and I'm just splattering on some white paint drops which I absolutely love the look of. Now time for my sentiment. So I've grabbed out the brushed alphas stamp set. I love these gorgeous little alpha letters. So I will be writing the word celebrate and it's just a matter of grabbing each letter as you need it. I've got a very faint pencil line across my card there and I'm just lining up the letters, stamping them straight onto that line, trying to get them joining up obviously nicely so that the word has a nice flow to it and it's a pretty 
quick process with this fabulous little set. So for a bit of fun I added the hashtag symbol to my sentiment and then decided that I just wanted to add a little bit more colour to it so I grabbed out the Worn Lipstick Distress Ink Cube and I'm just stamping the letters a little bit above the black letters themselves so that you can see just a hint of pink there as well. I've mounted my sentiment strip with some foam tape and I'm just using my T ruler to line it up across my card front, make sure it's all nice and straight. And then of course, using my tape runner, I'm adhering my card front to my card base. And then the finishing touch is a smattering of coordinating sequins.